All right, this is what I'm gonna be on. This thing is sick. The CVO Pan America, never been on one. Very interesting. It's got a little tour pack on it. Uh, looks like a pretty nice seat. And uh, looks like an adjustable windshield. 25th anniversary. I'm excited. I've never been on a CVO before, let alone a Pan America. I do know it has the same engine as the uh, Sportster S. So definitely a touring bike. Oh yeah, this thing is nice. I haven't gone on any of their group rides. The little startup screen on here. And uh, looks like we're off. Oh yeah, so here we go. Man, this is a very, um, upright position i'm almost like leaning forward with it but uh let me shut this so you guys can hear me make sure my vents are closed but yeah this is the harley davidson pan america cvo uh 25th anniversary uh very comfortable as i sit here on it And uh, seems pretty, pretty uh, peppy too. Uh, the shifting, I can say, seems uh, pretty tough. And it looks like I'm in a sport mode, so. Uh, I definitely feel like I am leaning forward, more like a, a sport, super sport style. Probably not super sport, but with the mid controls and a more aggressive lean angle. But uh, it, it feels like I'm kind of locked in like a glove, so it's not bad. And I uh, just got to get used to the shifting, obviously. So that's a CVO right there. I'll be uh, testing that one tomorrow. I think I'm so used to my Lowrider S with shifting that I, I'm feeling I'm looking for like the clunk feeling of the shifting, but it doesn't really have a clunk. It seems like it's just very smooth and I'm over overthinking it and overpowering it. But <laughs> uh, this thing's pretty cool. And uh, I, I haven't been on any rides with any of these people today. Um, they kind of had an instruction class that I wasn't a part of, <laughs> but Rhonda was like, hey, we're doing like a private ride, hop on with us. So I was like, sure. And she's the, the marketing director at Lakeland Harley and uh, super cool. I kind of showed up and she's like, uh, the event's already done. The last ride's about to go out. And I was like, ah, oh, shucks. So I went back to my bike, you know, all sad about it. And uh, I went back inside just to, to see what time they'd be back tomorrow and like, is the Harley truck going to be anywhere else? And then she just, you know, she just started talking to me. And I was like, yeah, I do YouTube. And, you know, I was just coming to shoot the 24 models. And she's like, oh, sick. And uh, so we just started talking. And um, she's like, hey, you know what? Uh, we're going to do like a small private ride. You can, you can join us. Um, and I was like, sure, why not? And uh, that was after she told me about her sister's uh, hogs. And, and the hogs, uh, they throw on Harleys that they see a lot like what Jeep riders do with Jeeps. So uh, she gave me a whole bag of those and then she came running outside. She's like, wait, 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 go on a ride with us. You can uh, ride the CVO Pan America. I was like, heck yeah. So it's kind of how 
that happened. So shout out to Rhonda. Super cool of you uh, to allow me to, to hop in this ride with everyone, even though the event is like closed. But she also, um, as you guys saw the video I shot where I had her talk earlier, um, she also put my name down for multiple bikes uh, to test tomorrow. So I'm gonna be doing all the CVO models that they have, as well as a Lowrider ST and doing an in-depth review on all of those. And what I'm gonna do is kind of shoot like a video series. I'm not gonna release it all on the same video, but I'm gonna do multiple videos um, of each model. That way when someone searches it on YouTube, they can actually um, find the specific model they're looking for. Um, unfortunately, Rhonda won't be here tomorrow. So um, she won't like be in the video or anything, but huge shout out to her. This is super cool. Um, but yeah, this, this bike, um, st standard Harley, uh, like the Sportster S setup almost. There is traction control, looks like Bluetooth. Um, got your volume controls, horn. The blinker, unlike most Harleys that have it on each side, is right here. So you have left and right. Um, looks like there is also cruise control on top. And you can see the beautiful screen here. And as Rhonda said, this bike also auto adjusts its ride height when you're stopped, which is super cool. Um, I wouldn't particularly get a bike like this. More, more than likely, it's not really my style. Um, but I mean, it's a CVO and I'm like, who's gonna say no to riding this? But yeah, super cool. Shout out to Lakeland Harley and, and Rhonda again. Um, I appreciate the hookup. And uh, you know, it's not like I'm some big YouTuber that gets to throw my weight around and be like, yeah, let me ride. Nah, she was just like, hey, tag along. And I wasn't like, I'm on YouTube and I'm big and I have a lot of followers because I really don't. I was just like, hey, I'm small. I just started this um, like year and a half, two years ago. I uh, work a full-time job. I do it kind of as fun. So I got to, I got to basically, uh, I didn't even throw any of that around. I was just like, hey, uh, yeah, I do YouTube, but I'm not like a big deal or anything. <laughs> but super cool. Uh, this bike, like I said, kind of a more aggressive riding style than what I'm used to, because obviously I have my low rider S, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a smooth ride for sure. I definitely can feel the suspension pretty well. Um, I, at first I was like, man, this thing's hard to shift, but it's actually really easy to shift. I was just trying to feel like the clunkiness of it, like I'm used to, and I didn't feel it. So that is why it felt weird. So ignore my earlier comments about the shifting. It's actually super smooth. And uh, since this is a group ride, we do have a leader, the guy in the uh, green Harley vest. So it's not like I can just, you know, rip this thing open because this is a group ride. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna be riding that thing tomorrow. It's the Evo ST. I know a lot of people probably want to see it because it's an Evo or a CVO, I mean, not an Evo, a CVO ST, pretty sick. And uh, yeah, so we're here. This is uh, Lakeland. We're on the, like the north side of Lakeland, as us Lakelanders call it, or I'm a former Lakelander. Um, I live in Mulberry now, as most of you know, but I used to live in Lakeland, so very familiar with the the area. I've lived in like three different places in Lakeland, so um, I'm very familiar with it. But this is what we call the north side, which is right by um, the Lakeland Harley-Davidson dealership. And um, we're kind of uh, parallel almost to I-4 right now on the road that we're on. And remember, I didn't I didn't attend their uh, riding class, so I, I don't even know where we're going. I'm just following the leader. 
And I think Rhonda's way in the back somewhere. But I kind of ended up because the bike was parked at the front. So I kind of ended up at the front. <laughs> But uh, guys, yeah, this, this bike is like super quiet, man. Um, I know there is multiple uh, sport, or there's sport mode, probably rain mode and road mode, a lot like what the uh, Sportster S has. Um, I don't really wanna mess with it and cycle through, especially like, I don't think it really matters being on this ride. Um, well, actually I could do it here. So that's, I'm in rain mode, or that's rain mode. This is road mode. Road mode is basically what I rode my um, Sportster S in for the most part. Uh, when I wanted to, you know, rip a little, I would go into sport mode. Um, this was in sport mode. I can definitely feel the throttle response changing on it. Uh, you know, this thing just eats corners from what it feels like too. Uh, but I know I haven't talked about it, but that screen on here is sick. Like, it's like the Sportster S uh, little uh, gauge that they have, but it's like a big, big version of it. So that's pretty cool. You know, I'm sure it does um, GPS. I would imagine this being a CVO model, you know, it's top of the line. Um, I'm pretty sure that windshield moves up and down, but honestly, right where it is set, I'm not really getting any wind buffeting. And I feel like for my moto vlog, this is probably uh, awesome because the the quietness and with my microphone so that you know it's pretty cool but uh, as far as this ride goes and this is probably the route that they take for all the people doing you know these demo rides uh, this is a nice long route to really get a feel for a bike because other routes that I have taken with other dealerships they were like really short and really small and it looks like half of our group just got left behind at a light. Imagine we're gonna probably slow down and wait for them. Thank God I'm not back there because, <laughs> like I said, I wasn't a part of the uh, the rules and readout of this and what we do if we get caught at a light. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this is making a nice long review of this bike. Um, as you can see, it's it's in a fixed windshield. So as I turn the handlebars, the windshield stays right where it is. Um, that is unlike a Street Glide or my Lowrider S that has it attached to the forks. So, you know, the fairing and windshield move as I turn. It's a stationary position. Um, it looks like it also comes stock with these hand guards, which one of them is currently popped off. I just snapped it back on. Look at me doing repairs. I guess you better hire me as a tech, Lakeland Harley. What, what would that charge be, a, a half hour charge? <laughs> Whatever Harley techs charge, uh, you know, for doing work. I, you know, I just, I just fixed that on a CVO baby. <laughs> But man, this is uh, this is super cool. I thought I was just gonna, you know, show up there and, and hop on a few bikes and talk about them. But um, just by chance, when I walked up to the tent, the person I talked to is the marketing director. And then uh, I, I think Rhonda heard I did YouTube and was like, oh yeah, you can, uh, here's my card. That's the first thing she did is, uh, she's like, hey, come to my office. And she gave me her card. And uh, she's like, yeah, we, we can do stuff or whatever. And I was like, yeah, I'm down. I didn't know it was that easy. <laughs> you know, I'm not some social media genius or marketing genius. I just like to, you know, ride and shoot and um, kind of just ended up on a CVO after hours ride at this point, but super cool. Looks like our group caught back up to us. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving this thing. Um, if I was gonna go on like a super, super long, like cross country trip, I'd probably take this. But to me, uh, they're not really my style. They're like, 
I don't know if European is the word, but you know, it's like a big dirt bike. <laughs> And maybe some of you found this video because you're kind of looking at the, the Pan America CVOs and you put it in YouTube and you come across my video. I'm not trashing this bike. Like, I think it's great. It's fun to ride. It's just me personally, it wouldn't be a bike that I would own because it's just not my style. Um, now, will I ride it? Heck yeah. I'm riding it now, it's fun but just, it's not my cup of tea. So, um, you know, I don't see myself on a bike like this. Now that bike up there, heck yeah. Oh, you saw, man, so that was really cool. You saw that bump ahead that that CVO just went over and you know, it kind of shook him. This thing ate that. <laughs> it was like, what, what bump? I barely felt it. So that was cool. So I imagine uh, with this CVO model, um, probably has upgraded suspension, I'm assuming. And again, you came across this video, you're expecting all the specs on this bike and you know, whatever else. Remember, I am on this by chance and it just happened the last minute. So I just kind of like literally hopped on the thing. So <laughs> I don't have all that. Um, I know Rhonda talked when I, I had the camera on her, she talked a little bit about, about the bike. Uh, <laughs> adjustment is one of the biggest things on this because when you come to a stop it'll adjust in ride height up to two inches what? the CVO comes with all the bags included so you don't have to buy those separate um, but now there's so many specs I could go on and on but we'll be here all day yeah <laughs> um because honestly I knew nothing you know I didn't I didn't know anything about the normal model let alone the CVO but uh, yeah I think it's a cool bike I'd be interested to see what a regular Pan America feels like. Um, as you guys know, my content is mainly for six foot five riders. Uh, this is a mid control based bike. Um, my legs are a little bit cramped, um, but not, not in the sense that it's uncomfortable. Like I could literally, I feel like I could stand up and wheelie this thing if I wanted to, which I'm not going to, <laughs> but it feels, it feels pretty good. Um, I could see myself riding this daily and not having to move the controls or anything. Um, obviously you wouldn't get a Pan American put forwards on anyway, but um, I did, I found myself trying to search for the, the actual brake pedal, but it's actually kind of down a little bit um, where my foot is. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Uh, so the brake is there. Haven't really utilized it yet. I just touched it now. It's pretty nice. Um, as far as the riding position, you can see where my arms are. Uh, they're not parallel, they're kind of down, but it's not straining on my shoulders. And again, this is a longer ride than what I'm used to with demo rides. And I feel like we're getting a good, good feel for this bike. And I feel like tomorrow when uh, when I go through the other models, I believe I'm trying four, maybe five others, and it's gonna be all the CVOs. You know, so the, the Road Glide ST, uh, I don't even know what I signed up for. <laughs> Rhonda just grabbed the paper and she pre-filled my name on all of the bikes that were CVOs. And I'm basically doing them back to back to back. Oh, we gotta go this way. I will say for a Harley, uh, obviously the exhaust is, is pretty, you know, the exhaust is pretty, sorry. I, I saw them put out their foot. I'm like, why? They were trying to say, hey, there's a hole in the road, dummy. <laughs> anyway, the obviously the exhaust on this is, a sewing machine is louder than it. I know some bikes are like, man, that thing sounds like a sewing machine. I don't even, I, I don't even hear it. <laughs> I hear nothing. 
Um, so I guess if you like a quiet bike, it's good. And you could probably upgrade the exhaust if you want more of a beefy sound. But I don't think people are buying this bike to get like a rice burner, super sport kind of sound. Um, it, you know, it's like a touring bike, a touring sports bike. So um, the engine, I got on it just a little bit just now. I believe, I don't know if it's upgraded. And again, guys, I'm on a CVO uh, Pan America. I know the Sportster S has a 1250. I don't know what this has on it, but it, it, it reminded me very much so of the, of the Sportster S engine, um, especially the way it accelerated. I'm assuming it has the variable valve timing. Uh, you know, you can really get up on it. Looks like we did a huge like square slash circle. Um, we're kind of almost right next to the dealership again. But um, man, super cool of Rhonda to really hook it up. And, and I didn't waste my, you know, afternoon, later afternoon kind of, you know, coming to not ride. She, she really hooked me up and hooked me up for tomorrow. So I'm gonna have that series tomorrow. Uh, starting with uh, one of the other CVO bikes. I'm not sure which one, but uh, I'm going to break it up, like I said, in, into multiple videos to review those bikes. But uh, th this one is cool. Um, again, not my cup of tea, but definitely fun to ride. Rev bomb, rev bomb. <laughs> But I have a feeling, uh, you know, knowing and meeting Rhonda, just her, her personality, seems like a really cool chick. Um, I told her, I said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm newer to YouTube, but my content is for taller riders because I'm six foot five. And she was like, yeah, my husband's your size. So uh, I think she understood that, you know, there, there's probably a niche market for us taller people because let's face it, bike manufacturers don't make bikes for us. So that, that's kind of what my content is geared towards. Um, and I feel like, you know, not everyone that watches my channel is, you know, we're not all giants. And I, you know, I'm not specifically saying uh, I'm only gonna make videos for tall people. You know, anyone that rides a bike, totally cool. But, um, This thing is zippy. I have it back in sport mode. But like I, like I was saying, my videos are geared towards more for taller riders, but you know, I have people that are shorter that probably watch the channel. But uh, there, there hasn't been a YouTube channel that I've seen that is geared more for taller riders. So that's kind of why like I made one, obviously, because it relates to myself. So just wanted to share my experiences on bikes. But uh, yeah, this, this thing is super cool. Uh, the CVO insignia on it. The, uh, looks like a 25th year anniversary. The color, I mean, it's got the, the old school Harley one on it. I believe that's the, the racing one. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, this thing is only has 232 miles on it. It's like basically brand new. Bridgewater, it's like a newer place. So yeah, I definitely feel a lot less uh, wind buffeting from this setup, um, which is nice. But it's also very cool that this, this demo ride is probably one of the longest I've ever been on. Um, and I don't know if it's because we're doing like a specialty after hours ride or 
if this is like what the ride's gonna be like tomorrow, but it's super cool. And it's nice that they're, you know, taking us on. We went through stop and go traffic. We've gone through, um, you know, highways or highway speed. Like right now we're at 55 miles an hour. And uh, it, it lets you really get a feel for a bike and, and what it's like. So super cool um, demo ride for sure. I've been on other demo rides where they were like super short. You know, you went around like maybe two blocks. And again, I have no idea what the route is because I just kind of hopped in this. <laughs> Thanks again, Rhonda. I want to say I feel the bike get lower as I just stopped. Um, and I remember Rhonda mentioning that the ride height actually adjusts when you do stop which is completely insane. Like Harley with the technology, bro. That's so cool. And once I, once I got the uh, shifting down on this, again, you guys are probably gonna roast me in the comments. I was talking about how hard it was to shift. It's actually just buttery smooth and you just kind of have to tap it. And uh, as you just saw, the braking on this is phenomenal. So I just kind of had to hit it pretty good. I think Rhonda is actually behind me right now. Because I know she was on a green bike. Oh no, she's way in the back. Oh yeah. You know, typically I, I check my audios and everything um, before I go shoot, but this was so random and last minute, I just kind of threw my camera on and hopped on the bike. So <laughs> it would really suck if I was shooting this whole time and the microphone wasn't plugged in. <laughs> Talking to myself. Little peppy. Little Pepe Le Pierre. So yeah, here was the, uh, kind of around the north side of Lakeland pretty much on this Pan America CVO. Definitely a different feel from my bike for sure. Like totally different. I thought that was one of our people. I'm like, wait, what are you doing? No. Nope, she's just riding on her own. <laughs> you can't pass the guy in the green. Or maybe she is with us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anyone in the group except for just meeting Rhonda. But man, this, uh, this crosswind is hitting. It's been super windy in Florida. You can see that that American flag over there. How hard the wind's blowing, but it's definitely hitting me on my right side. But yeah, the uh, the Lakeland Harley is right by the Waffle House. And bro, if that Waffle House is too clean, I won't eat there. That floor better be dirty. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> But yeah, I appreciate it uh, for watching this video. I know it's been a long one, but this has been the review of the CVO Pan America 2024. Uh, Harley, Lakeland Harley here and their marketing director, Rhonda, were nice enough to allow me to ride and um, 
just super appreciative of that. But we're going to go ahead and park this for them. I know it was over here somewhere. Where's the kickstand? There it is. Don't drop the bike, Robo Rider. So that was it. There was the exhaust. But yeah, super sick bike. Oh, I didn't even notice there's a steering dampener on it. Good to know. Super cool. That was fun. Did you like it? Yeah. Good. I had I had no idea what the route was or anything, so I'm like, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm just following. <laughs> Follow the crowd. <laughs> yeah.